In order to attach I-tip hair with fusion adhesive, you will need your I-tip strands, your heat wand, and also some extra keratin fusion adhesive. These come in the form of chips or rebonding tips. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to separate a strand of the natural hair away from the rest of the natural hair by placing a clip underneath it or using a speed separator clip. At this point, you can also use a fusion separator disc to further help protect the scalp from any heat that might be coming from your heat wand and is up next to your client's head. You're going to take your heat wand and you are going to pick up one of the chips and you're going to set it in your tip, kind of tap it into place and let that get a little molten. Next, you are going to pick up a strand of your eye tip hair we're going to lay the tip into place and we are going to pinch it slightly lower than our attachment point. We're going to apply our heat wand with the molten adhesive. We're going to move that up and down slightly and you might see it start to bubble a little bit. That's perfect. Release that. Okay, once that cools a bit, we're just going to roll that into place. Make sure that your bond is nice and smooth. The last point that you want to check is you want to make sure that you have full rotation on your bond. If you can't move it, it's going to be incredibly painful for the wearer. So you want to make sure that you have a good couple millimeters at the base. If you don't have enough room at the top, you'll want to use your heat wand and heat this bond up a little bit and slide it down until you do have that full range of motion. Also, you want to make sure that you don't have any crosshairs that should be into other sections because those will also pull and create irritations. Make sure that when you smooth it out that your bond is going in the direction that you want it to go because if you do hold it out and you roll it out this way, your hair is going to stick straight out. So just make sure that you have it in the angle that you want it and that completes your first bond. From here, you're just going to continue adding additional bonds until you've completed your entire style.